So welcome. Uh, in this video, or it's not video, it's in this live session, uh, what I'm going to show you is the new, the new feature of CorelDRAW 2020, 220, and it's all about the inner shadow. Uh, so, so we're going to achieve this later on. So stay tuned. But I'm just going to. I'm just going to compare the old drop shadow and the new drop shadow, the new feature. So uh, before this uh, 2020, I'm just going to put a gray, make it gray. Uh, before the 2020 version, so the drop shadow, if you click on the drop shadow here, uh, you don't see this one, and this is the inner shadow. So uh, you only have this one, the drop shadow tool. So wherein you click and then drag the uh, drop shadow, and then you can adjust, right? So that's the that is the outer shadow. Okay. So now let's go to the inner shadow. So I'm going to draw a circle and then create uh, or color it gray. And then I go to my drop shadow again, and then. Uh, instead of this one, the drop shadow tool, I can go to this one, which is the inner uh, shadow tool. So I click that and then click and drag and see the difference. Okay, and then we'll, I'm just going to zoom in here. And this new feature is great. I'm just going to remove the outlines here. This is a great feature. Because before, what I normally do is I, I do a lot of things to achieve this inner shadow. But in this 2020 version of Corel Draw, it's already embedded here. It's already included. So that's great. So once again, you can also do it in bitmaps. You can also do it on a vector. How about text? Say, for example, I'm going to type in my text here, okay, and uh, let's make it bigger, and then we, I'm going to make that thicker, okay, say for example here, let's say I'll make it uh, uh, green, okay, say like that, and then I go to my drop shadow, and I click on the inner drop shadow, and then I click and drag, right? that is amazing that's great right because then it's an illusion that um like the text is carved into whatever's here right so now uh let's look at my uh my uh my sample here so this one i actually did the the effect in this one here it's like a wooden effect. It looks like somebody carved this one, cut it out, and then there's another wood that's behind it. Okay. So, but but before we do that, I'm just gonna show you that uh, the inner shadows also would apply to bitmaps. Okay. So this is a bitmap. There's nothing in here. It's not. It's I didn't power clip this. If you click on view and click on wireframe, that is purely bitmap, right? And also this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Enhance View and I'm going to try to use that inner shadow. So when you click on Shadow, okay, obviously this, um, this shadow, sorry, I'm going to hit Escape first. See, that did it, okay. I'm going to undo first because I want to show you the old shadow first uh, and then the new shadow. So I'm just going to make this. Okay, I'm going to duplicate this. You click on the plus sign in your keyboard to duplicate, right? And then move it over here. And then I'm going to uh, use the old drop shadow, which is the outer drop shadow, which is that. Okay, so you can see the difference. And if you want to make it more opaque, the drop shadow, you just drag this, right? Now I'm going to apply the, um, the outer, uh, sorry, inner drop shadow, which is this one inner and click and drag and then I can move this around 
Can you see the difference? Like, like this one, it looks, it's dark here around, right, compared to this one. Okay, this is great uh, because it's like you're making it, uh, you know, so for example, you want to create like a, a shadow on the border or for example, I'm just going to click on the plus sign here to duplicate this. Uh, say for example, I'm going to create a circle and then put her in the uh, in the ellipse. Okay, so click an object, power clip, place inside the frame, and the frame is the ellipse. And then I'm going to try to click on the inner shadow and then click and drag. See? You can make like an effect that it's um, they call it Vigne effect. Okay, so that's great. Uh, yeah, so I, I think that would be useful um, in uh, in effect. So let's start doing this um, this um, this artwork here. So I'm gonna move this over going down, and then we'll start a new one here. Okay, I'm just going to get the image of the uh, hmm, I probably lost it already but um, we'll just use a different one a different wood or maybe it's the same sorry <laughs> okay right mouse kick paste inside the frame and that is too big okay I got the uh, the same one Okay, so now I have this wooden texture, right? And then I have to get a vector image, which is this one. I'll move it here. And then I'll put it to front. So um, to put it to front, I'm going to click on uh, Shift Page Up to make it to the front, right? And I'm going to say put it somewhere there okay um so in order to to make a good effect um what i'll do is i'm going to double click i'm sorry not double click i'm going to duplicate this without an offset which is the the plus sign your keyboard okay so i have that already i'm just going to click on undo here so what i'll do i'm going to power clip that and then put it inside this one my vector image which is the balloon of the balloon of the corel of corel draw okay so if you know you don't see it but say if i'm going to move this outside okay so i'm gonna move this outside you will see that it's in there right i'm gonna hit undo here or Control z okay so now what i'm going to do i'm going to click on my shadow and then I'm going to use my inner shadow and then I'm going to click and drag okay so um, first it's going to look like this right because what happens is like it's too dark okay so I was playing around with this one uh, 30 minutes ago and I tried using the subtract and the subtract actually makes it uh, nicer so first of all I'm going to remove the the fill of this and click on this one here because it's all black right and then I'm going to go to to my settings here so what I'll do I'm going to move it close to the center and then move this so basically it's more of like adjusting the opacity of the shadow Okay, you can also go here. Say, for example, here, this is the feathering. So I think we have to make the feathering not too high. And then this is the shadow opacity. Let's work on this one here. Okay, I'm going to drag this here. Oh, that's better. Goes back there. 
closer. Okay, so I think that is good enough. Okay, I'm gonna move this. Okay, because I want to mimic this one. So what well, you know what I'll do? I'm just gonna click on this. I'm gonna see how I position the drop shadow. So I click on this one, and then when you click on your drop shadow, you'll see where I positioned it. Or you can get the values here. So I'll get, uh, so it's subtract 72 and 9. And then this is the, this is the uh, direction. So anyway, I'm going to go here, and I'll make that 72. And then this one is 9. And I'll move it closer. There we go. Okay. So that's better. So it looks like a cutout now, right? Like a cutout of the um uh, of the wood. I'm just going to play around with the opacity. Okay. Now to make it more interesting looking. So cuz what what we are seeing now is like it's cut out. It's cut the balloon is cut out, right, into the wood and then there's another wood behind it. Oh, since we since we um, power clip this one right to the other to another to the same wood I mean so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to objects and then power clip um, sorry we're gonna edit this object okay there we're gonna edit so if you go edit here and then I am going to rotate this 90 degrees and then what I'm gonna do too is I can shrink it down a bit and then you click on finish and that's how it's gonna look like right so now let's try to put the text Corel draw so same thing here Corel draw I'll put that to front though so, so it's shift page up and then I'm just going to center this here so click uh, hold on shift click on the the background or the wood and then type in C to center it so now what I'm gonna do is uh, like I did before I'm gonna go plus sign in the keyboard to duplicate the wood Okay, and then I'm going to go to object, power clip, place inside the frame, and the frame is my text. Okay, so I don't see it, but it's in there, right? So now in in Corel Draw, you can actually um, you can uh, copy effects or copy uh, or clone or copy effects, right? So what I'll do, I'm gonna go copy effects and then shadow from. So which shadow are you going to copy? So it's this shadow that I just did. Click and then that one show up, right? But then you still have to do some adjustments. So what I'll do is I'm gonna click on this and I'm gonna move that there. Okay. Something like that. Okay. Now make sure that subtract. Uh, I can make this 72 back to 72. There. Now, now it, since this is a power clip, so what I can do, I can go to object and then power clip, or sorry, or edit the power clip. So I click on, click on it again, or hold down control. Or when this shows up, it means to say you can edit the power clip. So I click on edit. So it's back here. So I'll rotate it 90 degrees. 90 degrees like that. And then I click on finish. Let's see how the effects would go. Would look like. Yeah. So. And then you notice there is like um an inner shadow on the bitmap right on the background so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do do the same thing i'm going to 
apply a shadow inner shadow so click on shadow tool and then click on this one and then click and drag okay and now I can adjust it there so I think that's a great effect and that's kind of useful for you know for a lot of projects you can because because you know you can use it for vector you can also use for uh, for um, bit bitmaps so that's great so thank you for watching and uh, I hope you learned uh, something in this live uh, live streaming about the new feature of Corel Road 2020 which is the inner shadow thank you and I will see you tomorrow again I'm doing this daily now so uh, my only request is uh, please subscribe or and uh, click on that notification button so that you'll be notified and also uh, please comment you can comment anything if you like the video or I mean the streaming if you don't like that's fine too and put a thumbs up too if you if you really like it okay I'll see you tomorrow